Hello guys, in this video we'll tell you how to fix wireless adapter missing in Windows 10 or 11. But before we start the video guys, if you have any computer or software related issues, please feel free to contact us by visiting our website and using the submit our problem button from there. Or alternatively, you can also comment down below on our videos about your problem and just don't worry, we'll make a video for you to resolve it. Number 1. Run the system file checker scan, that is SFC scan. For this, open start, search for command prompt, right click the top result and select the run as administrator option. Now from there, type the following commands to perform a quick fix on your PC, that is SFC slash scan now. Now be patient and wait till the scanning is complete. Number 2. Check for Windows service. For this, press the window plus R key to open the run box. Now in the run box, type services.msc and press enter to open the services window. Now just scroll down and locate the security center services. Now from there, right click on the security center service and select the properties of it. Now set the starter type to automatic and click on the start button to initiate the service. Now just simply click apply and then ok to save the changes. Number 3. Perform a malware scan. For this type Windows security in the window search bar. Now in the window security window, click on wires and threat protection. Then under current threads, click on quick scan to perform a basic scan. But for a more comprehensive scan, you can also choose full scan. Then just follow the on screen instructions to complete the scan. Number 4. Disable any third-party security software temporarily. If you have any third-party antivirus or security software installed, try disabling it temporarily. Now, just simply restart the computer and check if the security center service can now be restarted. Number 5. Perform a system restore. For this, press the window plus S key and type system restore in the search bar. Now from there, select create a restore point from the search results. Then click on system restore under the system protection tab. It will prompt you to select a certain date and open the restoring window. Now note, if you previously created a restore point, you should utilize it. Otherwise, the computer will display a recommended date for restoration. Then click finish to complete the process. The finish time is a few minutes. When finished, your computer will automatically reboot. Number 6. Run the network troubleshooter. To get started, head to the start menu search bar and type in settings to open the window settings. Now on the settings app, click on system, then troubleshoot, then other troubleshooters. Now from there, click the run button for internet connections. Window will launch the troubleshooter and show the issues for which windows can troubleshoot. Now just apply the fixes and check for any improvement. Number 7. Update the network adapter driver. For this, press the window plus R key to open the run box. Now in the run box, type devmgmt.msc and click OK to open the device manager. Now in the device manager window, expand the network adapter section. Now do the following for all of the drivers. Right click on the wireless network driver and choose uninstall driver option. Make sure to uncheck the attempt to remove the driver from this device option in the pop-up if it shows up. Now go to the top menu in device manager and under the actions tab click scan for hardware changes. The driver should appear back in the list. If it does not, don't worry. Just simply restart your PC and it will appear back. Now right click on the wireless network driver again and choose update driver. But this time select search automatically for drivers. Window will automatically scan for available driver updates and will download them. Now just simply restart your PC to apply the changes. If it didn't work, again right click on display driver and choose update driver. But this time select browse my computer for driver software. Then from there select let me pick from a list of available drivers on the computer. Now select the driver you want to install. Generally it is a pre-selected top option in the list and click next. Now again just reach out to PC to apply the changes. If even that doesn't work you can try going to your laptop a wireless network card manufacturer's official website download the latest drivers for a specific model. Number 8. Reset the WinSock settings. For this, press Windows plus X key 
to open the window shell admin. Now enter the following command in the window. After entering the command, just hit enter. Start the computer again after the command has been run. Now your Winstock configuration will return to its original form. See if this resolves the issue for you. Number 9. Replace a network interface controller card. After trying all of the above fixes and still your wireless net wireless adapter missing device manager, your PC maker should be contacted for further assistance. So this was it for the video guys. We hope this video helped you solve your problem. If it did, then make sure that you give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. And if it did not, then don't worry. Just comment down below the issue and we'll try to figure out what is wrong with your specific case. Thank you for watching.